Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this electric water pump right here. To start the build off, we're going to need a small motor and the hard plastic case around a dollar store candle. Next I'm going to cut out this plastic sheet here, and we're going to be using this for all sorts of stuff, both inside and outside components of the pump. I'm going to start off by tracing a circle slightly smaller than the plastic case for the candle. And I'm going to cut it out. Once I have a cut out, I'm just going to trace some red over it just so you guys can see it a little better. Next we'll need a hole in the center and we'll be using that hole later. So now we're going to cut out the fins. Once all the pieces are cut out, we can start gluing it onto the circular base that we have here. Once that's done, we can drill a hole in the bottom of our candle container so that the motor can fit through and then we'll put some glue around the motor to attach it on and as you can see the motor shaft fits through the hole we just drilled and then we'll seal it off to make sure it's airtight. Now our pump part we can put glue in the center of it and we can attach it onto the shaft and as you can see the blades there spin around and are attached to the shaft. Now we'll trace another circle slightly larger than the inside of our pump. And we'll drill a hole in this. This is where the straw will attach for the uh, water intake. And also drill a hole in the side. That will be where the water exits. And we'll glue a straw onto both the uh, intake and exit. Putting glue around, we can glue on that big um, circle that we just cut out. And now we have our finished product. Let's test it out. To test out our finished pump, I first have to prime it by sucking some water into it. No pump will work if it's not filled with water first. And as you can see, it pumps all right. Now we're going to try changing it up a little to make it a little better. I'm going to elongate the hole where the water was left before. And then I'm going to cut out a straw slightly differently. I'm going to attach it to the elongated hole. This will basically let the water come off in a tangent. Basically a more natural way than having it come off perpendicular. And now once I prime the pump, you can see it works slightly better. I also noticed my motor was really small, so if you wanted yours to work really well, just use a larger motor, and that should be all you really need to get a nice, powerful pump. Thank you for watching to the end of my video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one. To see my other projects and buy parts you might need, you can check out my channel or my website joshbuilds.com. You can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content. Thanks.